Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how the measure tool works in FreeCAD. The measure tool was added as a new tool in FreeCAD 1.0. It enables you to measure distances, lengths, areas, angles or center of mass. So let's see how this new tool works. So I've got my sample project and if I wanted to measure the distance between this point and with control I will select this point. So I've got these two points selected and I fire up the measure tool which is available in all workbenches and when I start it uh, FreeCAD automatic, automatically detects the objects that I have selected and uh, proposes the measurement that uh, is probably what I want. So here I've got the distance and I've got the distance uh, distance in the x-axis and distance in the z-axis. Uh, if I don't want to show the delta in each axis, I will unclick this show delta and I will have just this distance. So there are three buttons here. If I close the tool, I've got it closed and I've got still this selection. So I unselect all and now I, I will select this uh, I selected the uh, edge again and I will select control select this point fire up the tool so now you can also see the deltas the delta y delta x and the real distance and also the delta z so you've got also these delta information in each axis which you may or may not want to see so I will close again and now uh, I will select, I will deselect all and select this edge. If I have edge selected and start the measure tool, it shows the length of the selected object. Now, if I add it to this selection, this with control click, um, this edge, you can see that now it's measuring the angle. Now if I, if I wanted to measure the length of both of these edges that I selected, I have to manually uh, click this drop down menu and you can see that I've got all these options to measure and FreeCAD automatically selected angle when I chose uh, when I have two edges in my selection, but I can I can change to length. And it will measure the length of the selected edges. So now I can select this one, this one, this one, and this one. And uh, here you've got the, the length of all of these edges uh, added together. So now let's close again and deselect all. Now if I select a face and fire up the tool you can see that it's showing the the area. So this is another another option what I could measure. And if I drop down here, you can see the radius is pretty clear. I've got no nothing that would that I could measure radius with. The center of mass. Let me uh, let me select this uh, this plot the whole object. And if I choose measure, uh, it's, it's measuring the center of mass, where the center of mass of this object is uh, relative to the, relative to the uh, coordinate system. So now I have shown you that when you choose the close button, you close the, the tool. If you choose reset, you remove everything from the selection and you can remove everything from the selection by clicking and you can see that now uh, I've got uh, I've got the if I reset I've got the outer mode which selects uh, automatically what I probably want to measure now from the measuring uh, distances you can see that there's the measure distance and distance free what is the difference between these two distances let me close the tool and draw a wall um, here like so and uh, if I select 
this wall and this wall and fire up the measure tool by default it will it will uh, measure the distance which is the closest uh, distance between uh, some of the po any of the closest points of these two objects so this is the closest that these two objects are but if i select distance free i can actually if i click on this wall here i deselect it and now i select it again it's measuring from the point that i actually clicked so it's this point to this point if i wanted to measure the distance to to this uh, this furthest point i would unclick here and uh, yeah i could i could just um, if i click on this on the face here it's measuring to this point so this is the this is the difference between distance is the closest dif distance of the selected objects and distance free is where i actually actually clicked so let me reset let me actually close delete this wall and let's select you can also first select the tool with nothing selected and then select the object uh, it doesn't matter which uh, which order you do that now uh, what i have not yet shown you is the save option if i click the save the current uh, the current uh, saved uh, measurement the current measurement will be saved uh, in a group measurements and it's uh, basically a freeCAD object so if i hide the if i hide the uh, the roof the measurement i can hide too and i will show it to you by what I can do, I can measure this distance. So I've got this distance. I don't want to show delta and I will save. Now this is this distance is saved. Now I can select this face and this face and again save this distance. And let's say I also want to save this one to this one and save so now if i close the tool i've got these distances saved so if i open the open the file again i can easily hide the measurements or show them and if i open it i've clearly got the distances the distances uh, up here and what i can also do is i can move these labels as you can see they are somewhat placed in the 3d view and they are also overlaying the 3d geometry and i can actually move those measurements so if this one i can i can sometimes it's a bit finicky to move it so i will move this label like this you just click and drag the label and the you know so-called dimension is is moved with it so then when you want to get rid of the rid of the measurements you can just uh, select it either from the 3d view or from the from the project uh, tree and just hit delete hit delete or you can delete all the measurements at once by deleting this measurement group and typing yes Okay, so this is just a quick tip on how to use a measure tool, which is a very useful one. If you like using FreeCAD, consider donating to the project to keep it alive. The donation page will be linked in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.